Welcome to the video. Please like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so we can karate chop our way up the algorithm. Also, please feel free to like the Mosul Martial Arts Facebook page at facebook.com slash Mosul Martial Arts. I am personally on Facebook at facebook.com slash Shelby the Blue Eyed Samurai, where I share some of my personal philosophies on martial arts, personal training, psychology, and of course, my family life. Feel free to request me as a friend, or if you want to keep your Facebook private, you can just click the like button and see mine. So during the summer, Muscle Martial Arts, that's our slow season. A lot of our students leave for vacation, and we don't have a whole lot of enrollment other than our summer program. So we have some new kids coming in, and their parents don't know the difference. It's a time to make some changes. So what I did this summer was I moved all the chairs out of the main matted area into our parents' room. When I first opened Muscle Martial Arts, I designated one room for the parents so they could sit and chat. And it has a door. I'm actually sitting in it now. It has a door that can be closed so the parents can have conversations, watch their phone, and do what they need to do while the students train. Over the years, I've kind of let the parents migrate into the matted area where they could see their kids better. Um, the parent room, they're separated by a glass barrier, so the noise doesn't penetrate into the dojin. The reason I did this at this time of year is because, like I said, a lot of, some of the parents have left um, for the summer, and they'll be back in the fall. And we had new parents coming in, so they don't know any better. And some parents stay. What I want to do now is I want to explain the reasons why I've done this so the parents that are here can help me explain to the new parents that are coming in in the fall because next week, uh, mid-August, early September, is our busy season. We're going to have a bunch of new parents coming in. And more importantly, we're going to have a bunch of returning parents come in. And they're going to want to know, why can't we sit in a matted area? And since this is not my school, this is our school, I want everyone to be vested in the reason why we sit in the parents' room and not in the matted area. So these reasons are not in any particular order except the final one, and that's, that was the, I don't want to say the straw that broke the camel's back, but was the reason, the main reason why I pulled the parents out. And it's a, no fault of any one or two or even a group of parents. It was just a collective effort. So the first reason is we wear shoes outside and there's a lot of stuff outside, the bacteria and fungus and so on and so forth. We teach three martial arts here now. We teach Taekwondo, Hapkido, and Jiu Jitsu. Taekwondo, it's not that big of an issue. There's not a whole lot of uh, mat work. You're standing up, you're fighting, you're kicking, you're punching. Not a whole lot of students being on the ground. But Hapkido, there's a lot of throwing. There's a little bit of grappling, and in jiu-jitsu, there's a lot of grappling and a little bit of throwing. And so, we're on the mats quite a bit. The parents' room, you can wear your shoes in. Going into the matted area, we still have wood floor where you can wear shoes in, but we want to keep that floor a little bit more clean than the parents' room. So, if the parents are trampling in there, Students are going off the mat, even though our students aren't supposed to have shoes off, shoes um, off when they're off the mat. Sometimes they walk off the mat without their shoes on, and then they trace back onto the mat without their shoes on, and that they can bring staph infection or um, ringworm. And then if we're grappling, we get ringworm or staph infection. That's no good for the school. So it's a cleanliness issue for the people that are doing Hapkido and Jiu Jitsu. The mats get sanitized quite a bit and the floors get sanitized quite a bit actually. But there's only so much sanitation you can do inside the parents room because we're constantly wearing shoes. I'm in the parents room right now and I'm wearing, I'm wearing shoes. But if I'm going to step into the mat, I take my shoes off. The second reason is, is I'm a parent, you're a parent, and our students are out there training and it's hard for me when my kids train, for, when they're under another instructor, not to tell them what to do. We want our kids to behave. 
And a lot of times parents are out there and they see their kid and their kid might be whispering to someone else and the parent's like, Johnny, Johnny. And they're trying to get their kid's attention. And, and the parent means well. But by them trying to get their kid's attention to tell their kid to be quiet, they get five or six or seven kids' attention. And now the instructor is trying to get seven or eight kids to focus. I have a sign that, sep that separates the mats from the floor that says, my kids, your kids. And I put that up uh, years ago to kind of let the parents know that once the kids are on the mat, that they're my kids at that point and let me train them. However, that sign usually gets ignored quite a bit. Another reason is sometimes students' parents brings the student siblings. And the student siblings, they like to talk or they want to play a video game on mom's phone or dad's phone and there's extra noise. And the students are constantly looking back, seeing what the sibling is doing. Also a distraction. And then finally, the main reason was we had a lot of parents in the back that was sitting by the bathroom and they were just having conversations. And they were speaking kind of quietly, but the school echoes. There's no carpet in the school. It's just a big square building with matted, it's a matted area. And it echoes, 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 echoes. And I could hear them crystal clear in the front. And we have some students that may or may not have ADHD and special needs, but I know there's one instructor that teaches that does. And I was getting distracted and I'm paid pretty well by you guys to teach your student self-defense first and foremost, because that's uh, Muslim martial arts number one priority is to teach self-protection and self-perfection. And I was, missing points that I wanted to teach in each class to the students because things were racing in my head and I couldn't get the point across. So by sitting the parents in the parents' room, I was having a better time teaching the kids. And my classes have actually gotten better because I'm not worried about the parents talking and the parents making noise in the back. And I have the students' attention a little bit better and a little longer. So if a parent asks you why they can't sit in the padded room or sit, sit in the um, in the main part of the dojang where the pads are or the matted room, the reason is, is there's several reasons. And some of it is health reasons and some of it is we want to make sure that the students are focused. Now, there are exceptions to the rules. The exception is this. On sparring nights in Taekwondo, I'm not teaching a whole lot. Uh, Master Matt, Coach Matt, he's the Taekwondo instructor um, for sport Taekwondo. He's not teaching a lot. We coach, but we're not teaching. And that's a time that you can root your kid on when they're sparring. And so we pull some chairs out and students, we, we sanitize the mats earlier in that day, but it, I mean, there's a lot of gear out there and it, it's, it's kind of funky anyway if you, if you smelt sparring class um, it's kind of funky anyway. So we let the parents come in and cheer their student on. In Hapkido and Jiu Jitsu, when we're doing sparring at the end of class, we don't mind if the parents walk in because it's at the end of class. So those are the last classes of the night and the mats and the floors get sanitized early morning the next day. And you can come in and watch your kids spar or roll and at the end of the class. And that's totally it appropriate and fine because your kids are engaged in combative sports. And the second way you can come into the matted area is if you want to do the class with your with your child. And we do have parents that do that. Um, Suzanne Horner was one of them. She she trains with her child when her child decided to do martial arts. She jumped in there with them. And then Will Pendergrass, he comes in on Saturday mornings and trains um, in the sport taekwondo class with his son, uh, Reef. And that's more than more than appropriate. And uh, we welcome parents that want to jump in there and start training. We'd love to have you as a student. So those are the reasons why we want parents in the parents' room. And it's nothing personal. I love all you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. And uh, 
everything you do for me, and I hope I return those favors. I just want this to be a great school for your, your child and for you. And if you decide to be a student, um, as an adult, we, you know, we have the jiu-jitsu program now, the Hub Keto program, both great for self-defense. And uh, if you want to jump in Taekwondo, those classes are a little earlier, but uh, Taekwondo is also a great self-defense martial art uh, for adults as well. It keeps you in shape. All right. I look forward to a great back to school and uh, I'll see you guys on the mat.